Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's discussion, emotional support animals. What are they? What purpose do they serve? And do they have the same rights as a service dog? Let's find out. Emotional support animals, what are they? Well, unlike service dogs, emotional support animals do not provide any specific service. They are not trained to do one specific task. Their job is to provide comfort when you're in distress. Emotional support animals help those with anxiety, autism, bipolar, and depression, also PTSD. If you have severe anxiety or severe PTSD, you might qualify for a service dog that will provide the same comfort but will have actual training to detect when you're about to have a breakdown. In order to qualify, you do not need to register to get any sort of badge or registration number. You just need a letter from a physician or a script from a physician or psychiatrist stating the need for an emotional support animal. Emotional support animals do not provide a service or a specific task, so they do not receive any special accommodations for restaurants nor stores. The services that they receive, or special accommodations they do receive, is access to rental properties as well as aircrafts and flights. Even if a landlord has a no pet policy, they cannot turn you away from having an emotional support animal nor can they charge you an additional pet deposit. Essentially, an emotional support animal's job is to provide affection and companionship, which provides therapeutic benefits, whereas service dogs perform a specific task that they are trained to do, such as detect a seizure or be a seeing eye dog for those that are blind. Emotional support animals do not have to just be dogs, although many of them are. They can be cats, birds, rabbits, even a horse. Any animal that provides that comfort when they're having a break, breakdown or having an issue at that moment, the comfort of the pet will help calm them down. Landon does not have a script or an actual need for an emotional support animal. Or at least we don't have a script from the doctors. But we still have a lot of pets in this house. Such as a cat, some dogs, some rabbits, and a horse. The pets do provide emotional support. They do provide comfort when you need it. It has long been known that pets provide a great amount a great amount of emotional support when needed for any individual even if you do not have a medical need. But Landon does not have an ESA, although you could classify his animals as emotional support help for him. Hope you learned a little bit about emotional support animals and the difference between emotional support animals and service dogs. Hope you have an awesome day. Just remember, you don't know what anyone's going through, so just be kind. Have a great day, everyone.